Hello everyone, welcome back to Francis Tech. Before we proceed to the video, this channel just hit 800 subs. Thanks everyone for the support and it means a lot to me. In today's video, I will list down the specific laptops that are best for using AutoCAD. To those who doesn't know what AutoCAD is, architects and drafters use AutoCAD to design blueprints for buildings, bridges, and roads, and many others. It gives the designer a tool to draw things to scale. But I know that most of you that click on this video knows what AutoCAD is. So AutoCAD has a minimum requirements of 8GB of RAM and a CPU that runs at 2.5GHz. The best spec requirements on the other side is 16GB of RAM and CPU that runs at 3GHz above. AutoCAD will run fine with minimum requirements, but if you have the budget, you can go for the max spec requirements. Before we start, Click the like and subscribe button if you want more tech related contents like this. Now let's go to the list. My first pick and the cheapest laptop on this list is the HP 14 laptop priced at 24,500 pesos. This laptop runs a grade A CPU Intel quad core i5-8265U that has clock speeds of 1.6GHz and up to 3.9GHz when overclocked. The unit also has 8 gigs DDR4 SD RAM and a display of 14 inch HD LED backlit display that has a resolution of 1366 by 768 pixels. And the 128 GB SSD will give you fast loading time for AutoCAD, which is a good feature. It also has decent graphics Intel UHD 620. And this laptop can easily run AutoCAD with ease given that the minimum specs are achieved. And I think that the 128GB SSD is a sweet addition to this unit because it offers fast loading and boot time not only for AutoCAD but also for other applications and the laptop itself. My second pick for the list is the HP Pavilion 14S which is priced at 31,200 pesos. This variant is the AMD version which runs an AMD Ryzen 3 4300U processor that has a clock speed of 2.7 GHz and can be overclocked to 3.7 GHz which is amazing if you ask me. This laptop also has 8 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of HDD. This unit has more storage but runs slower boot and loading time compared to the HP 14 laptop. But it is considerable given that you have more storage compared to the first unit. It also has an HD screen and weighs only at 1.6 kg. This laptop is best if you have more budget to spend in exchange for much better specs compared to the first pick. On the higher end part of the spectrum of prices, 51,000 pesos to be exact, my third pick is the Lenovo IdeaPad, specifically this variant that has an Intel Core i7-1065 G7 that has a clock speed of 3.9 GHz. It also has an 8 gigs of RAM that runs at 2,666 Hz and a dual storage of 256GB SSD plus 1TB HDD. This laptop offers good specs compared to other laptops in the same price range. This variant of Lenovo IdeaPad also has a 14-inch FHD 1920x1080p anti-glare screen. If you have the budget to buy this unit, you may not want to miss it out because it has decent specs that will easily run AutoCAD and other high-end programs. My final pick for this list is the ASUS TUF, which retails at 62,000 pesos. This variant can easily run AutoCAD because it has an AMD Ryzen 7 3750H CPU that has clock speeds of 2.3 GHz and 4 GHz when overclocked. The unit also comes with 8 gigs of RAM and has a speed of 2400 MHz and a GPU of NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti with 6 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. This unit also has some serious storage of 1 terabyte SSH and 256 gigabytes of PCIe SSD. The storage of the ASUS TUF allows you to have fast loading and boot time and also a large capacity of storage. The unit also has 120Hz anti-glare IPS level screen. To be honest, this last pick is a bit overkill but if you have the budget and also want a low-key gaming laptop aside from using it for AutoCAD, this unit is the best suited for you. To wrap this up, 
Any unit that runs on 8 gigs of RAM and has a CPU that has a clock speed of 2.5 GHz above can run AutoCAD. These are my personal picks and I hope that this video helped you in coming up with a decision on which laptop you will buy. With that, I will end the video. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe if you want more tech related contents like this. See you around.